right? This woman right here is, is a woman that I would advise you to mess with more, right? As you guys are working on your looks, working on improving yourself, working on, you know, being the best version of yourself, women like this are not easily swayed by status or money. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Guys, I have a different video for you guys today. The five female mating strategies. I don't know why I've never made a video about this, but what are the strategies? The way women select men that they will or will not sleep with. This is the archetype of every single woman on the planet. Every single woman on the planet, it's probably like four or five billion of them, fall under these five archetypes. Let's get into it. The first mating strategy of women is the opportunist woman. Archetypes are categories that a woman is gonna fall into on how she selects males that she will sleep with or she wants to sleep with. The first archetype, the first strategy is the opportunist woman. This is the woman that <laughs> she doesn't care what is going on else in your life. If you can somehow enhance her life, if there's an opportunity for her to look better, if there's an opportunity for her to get some clout, she is the number one opportunist. Guys, I have some bad news for y'all. A lot of these bad, bad, you know what, these bad chicks that you guys fantasize about, they are probably not going to be the best women long term. This year, 2022, I've had more experience dealing with these kind of girls, and I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, it ain't what it's hyped up to be, right? A lot of these girls want, literally, I, it, you think women are hyperkins? These Instagram models, these girls with a million, 100K, 200K, I forget a million. The moment a girl gets about 5,000 followers, it's over. She, it, she now wants to get with the guy that can enhance her life, the guy that can get her in the scene, the guy that she can, that can make her look like that bad B. I am telling you, I have seen it firsthand this year, right? It, it's kind of disappointing because, you know, you would hope that a lot of women, they pick men based on how a man treats them. You know, you guys think that's what it is, but it's, it's not, right? The number one archetype is the opportunities and a lot of Instagram models, girls with a lot of followers, they are looking to get with the best guy they can get. The guy that can get them in the room, the guy that can take them all over the world. So they put on this persona that they are this hot chick. This is what I've learned this year, 2022 now, this year more than ever, because I've dealt with a lot of the girls like this, these girls want a guy that can validate the fact that they are a hot chick. What are you gonna do for her? How are you gonna make her look like she's the hot chick that she, she thinks she is, right? Can you take her to Dubai? Can you take her to Europe? Can you take her to the Bahamas? Can you take her to the Maldives? That's what she's all about. How can her persona of being this bad B, this hot chick, be maintained with you? This is the opportunist woman. How can her persona of being a bad B, a hot chick, be maintained or enhanced with you? They got girls who don't care she don't care what you could do for her. She don't care how good your personality is. If you can't, if you're not the guy that can make her look the best amongst other people in terms of where she can go, places she can travel to, who she can claim she's messing with, she ain't messing with you, bro. All right, I sincerely advise you guys to stay away from these kind of girls. The reason being is it would never be enough. No matter what you do for her, it would never be enough. Even if you legitimately like her, she always is trying to get in the hottest room. She's trying to get in the most popping scene. It's all about the scene. It's all about the image for her. That's the number one archetype, the opportunity. This girl doesn't care about nothing else but looking like a bad bee, looking like a hot chick. Number two, the sex appeal woman. The sex appeal woman, this archetype, this strategy, right, is the woman who she doesn't care about nothing else. She ain't like the opportunist girl. She, she couldn't care less what room you could bring her in. If she ain't physically attracted to you, if you just don't do it for her, she ain't wasting her time. If you are, if you just don't get her rocks off, if you're not the, if you are just not her type, she ain't breaking a sweat for you. She don't care 
how many trips you could take her on. She don't care how many dinners you could take her on. If you are not her type, you are not her type. I have ran into a lot of girls like this too, who I just happen to be their type. They didn't care about nothing else. This, I'm talking about, I noticed this even more when I wasn't popping on Instagram or YouTube. Like girls who just like, ooh, you got a nice body. You, you, you are my prototype of a man. I don't care about nothing else. I'm trying to come hang out right now. She don't care about how many followers you got, how many, <laughs> she don't care about none of that. If you don't do it for her, you don't do it for her. All right, this woman right here is, is a woman that I would advise you to mess with more. All right, as you guys are working on your looks, working on improving yourself, working on, you know, being the best version of yourself. Yes, she can always bounce her next hottest guy, but what you gotta understand is, women like this are not easily swayed by status or money, right? It, that, that ain't going that's not what's gonna do it for her, right? I would much rather a girl use me for my body. <laughs> I would much rather a girl come give me that booty because she find me sexually attractive than for her to be just trying to get into the nice rooms and in the nice scene and be trying to use me as that as that pivot, right? I would much rather be used for this. Oh, you think I'm hot? You wanna come see what, you wanna come see what I look like in person? You wanna come see what I look like naked? Oh yeah, use me for that one. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanna be used for that. That's what I wanna be used for, right? Because I know, hey, I ain't, I ain't going above and beyond trying to, you know, impress this girl for some booty. The sex appeal woman, she doesn't care about none of that. If you don't feel it fit into her type, she not giving you the time of day. I'm sure you guys have met women like this. She, she ain't even looking twice at you. This girl only deals with guys that she finds really physically attractive. Anything else, she good. Number three, the confidence woman. This archetype, this mating strategy, guys, is a woman who she cares more about your strength than anything else. This is a woman. You could be good looking all you want to. <laughs> you can have all the status all you want to. But if you don't pass her shit test, if you don't pass her strength test, if you don't pass her value test, she good. She cares more about a man who is extremely confident. This is the girl, if you guys ever paid attention, this is the kind of girl you will notice she bad as hell, but she with this okay looking dude, but this dude just got confidence out the world. He just unrealistically confident. That's the archetype of the, you know, the confidence woman. That's her main strategy. She only going for, she trying to go for the most confident guy, the most well-spoken guy, the guy who believes in himself the most. That's the guy she wants. And in a, in a room full of men, you know what I'm saying? The guy who, who walks the best, walks with his chest up, acts like he owns a place, that's the guy she's looking at. He might not be the best they can do, right? Because a lot of guys can be good looking, they can be, they can be attractive, but when they start speaking, they sound shy, she ain't with it. Oh, you, 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 you confident? She, she trying to see what you're talking about, right? She don't care about nothing else. How confident are you? She's a strength woman. That, that's an alpha seeker <laughs> in, in, in herself right there. That's, I, I should've changed that from confidence woman to the alpha seeker. She. Uh, she care about your masculine frame, how you talk, how you lead. That's what she's most concerned about, right? The confidence woman, the alpha seeker. She just, nothing does it more for her than a true alpha dominant masculine man. Number four, the social proof woman. Don't, don't, don't confuse this guys with the opportunist. The opportunist woman, she just cares about how you can make her life look good. That doesn't mean she trying to give you some booty. She just trying to deal with the dudes who could who could make her look good, right? In terms of parties and trips and clubs and all that. The attraction might not be there for her, but it's how can I deal with the guy who can give me the most room in the best rooms? But the social proof woman, her main strategy is she cares about what other women think of. This girl is the girl you will see. Remember when you were in the playground and you know, you know, when we were little boys, you know. 13, 14, 15 years old, or you know, in, in middle school or high school, this girl didn't give you the time of day till she saw you, you know, being up by your friends, or she saw another girl looking at you. I've had girls like this who didn't look at me twice when I was by myself. But as soon as they see me around my peers, they see around they see me around another girl, they not they interested. She don't care about nothing else but how other people view you. That includes men. 
this girl cares more about getting with guys that are socially proved. <laughs> That's what social proof means. Socially proved. You are, you have been given the thumbs up by your peers. You have been given the thumbs up by other women. That's the kind of guy she's looking for. Oh yeah, if you, if you, if you around your buddies and, and they kind of overlooking you, she ain't, she ain't dealing with you. She might not even look at you twice, but as soon as she see you around your friends, other guys are talking to you. Maybe other guys see you for something they want to be like. Now her interest is peaked. She see other girls looking at you. Now her interest is peaked. Your looks and everything else was great for her. Yeah, yeah, congrats. But the moment she see other people talking about you or looking about you, she that's the guy she want. Oh yeah, the guy that everybody wants to talk about, that's the guy she want to deal with. That's a social proof woman. This woman as well, I, will, I would advise you guys to stay away from. Right, because like, man, how much social proof can you get, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, are you not gonna respect me unless you see other men that wanna be like me? Are you not gonna respect me unless you see another girl checking me out? Yes, those are things that you should all be aiming for, try to have. Obviously, every guy should have social proof, but it shouldn't be the determined factor of a, if a girl wants to mess with you. She ain't even giving you the time of day until she knows that other, other people like you. Yeah, that can, that can be a good main strategy, but these girls are cutthroat. These girls right here, if you ain't popping, this girl right here, this kind of girl is gonna ask, ask the whole time about you. You know how, you know them girls? Them girls that she needs to know, everybody that knows about you, she needs to know what the world is around town about you before she even give you any time of day. The problem with this kind of girl is, it will never be enough. <laughs> it will never be enough, right? And lastly, number five, the charisma woman. Woo! This is the girl who cares more about your charm. Don't mistake this with confidence because a lot of guys can be very confident, but are not like too outspoken. They don't just, they're not the guy who just, his conversation just begin women going. I'm the kind of guy, I would say, I have more of a dominant masculine frame, but I'm not the, the talk a woman's pants away. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna charm her with my words, I'm gonna charm her pants away. No, 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 I'm not that kind of guy. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys this. The women that are the most attractive to me, all right, and I'm, I'm a very analytical person, I'm a very realistic person. And in this whole list, the women that are the most attractive to me are the sex appeal women and the confidence women. Those two girls, I'm, I'm hitting it. I can't, I'm, I'm knocking out the park. If a woman is really into a man with a lot of confidence, or she's, she has a type and I fit into a type, right? In terms of sex appeal, I'm going to hit it without a doubt. The charisma woman is the woman that she cares more about your conversational skills. What's the word around town now? Riz, right? That's what I think. I think I hear about that word. Your riz. I think that's what y'all, you, you young bucks call it. You know, FedEx, I'm getting old, man. My gray hairs are coming in, guys. I'm getting old. I, I can't, I got to keep up with the new terminology, man. I'm, you know. 25 years old, man, I'm, I'm getting, my gray hairs are coming, right? But this woman cares more about your rig. Your, your, she wants to see your talking skills, right? She wants to see how well you could charm her with your words. That's the charisma woman. She just wants, she is the most into a guy who has the, the gift of gab, right? He, he just the guy, he might not be the hottest, he might not have the most sex appeal, he might not have the most social proof, but he started talking Girls start looking. He starts saying stuff that just gets them going. He knows how to engage in conversation. Don't, there are women like that, who everything else ain't gonna really knock her out the park. Everything else is okay, but you, you got this? Oh yeah, she gravitating towards you. Guys, these are five strategies that I have, and you guys know, I can get this kind of information because I've been with a lot of women. <laughs> I've been with more women than most men, so I can sincerely tell you, these are the archetypes of, of, of mating strategies that women go for. You're going to, if you deal with enough women, you're gonna run into the opportunists. You're gonna run into the woman with the sex appeal. Who cares more about sex appeal? You're gonna run into the confidence woman. You're gonna run into the social proof woman. You're gonna run into the, the, the charisma woman, right? And, and this is the thing, a lot of women don't even know that they fall under these archetypes. But I want you guys to save this video, right? Save it, save this video and as you start dealing with girls, come back to this video, right? And see every girl you're dealing with, I can mark, mark my words. <laughs> every girl you're dealing with will fall under one of these five. I can promise you, set your 
calendar. You can you can come back and send me a DM. Right? I promise you, every single if you paid attention to this video, you will notice that every single girl falls under one of these type of girls. What I what I sincerely want you guys to do is to have everything. Let let women see you as having the most opportunity, the most sex appeal, the most confidence, the most social proof, the most charisma. Right? I want you to be that guy. You just you just you tick all the boxes. But this is where it gets catchy. This is where it gets tricky. I only want you to take women seriously for the women who find you most attractive, sex appeal wise, and confidence. We, we can sleep with all of them, all right? All five of them, you're gonna meet women in all five of these categories. You, 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 can, you, can, you can sleep with them, all right? You, you can go on a date with them, but the women I want you to take more seriously are the women that are just physically into you or just are, are blown away by your, by your confidence. If you don't have, you know, the gift of gab, you don't have that much social proof, you don't, you can, you can improve drastically your sex appeal and your confidence. I want girls. So what I did in this video, guys, I looked at my strengths and I've seen, I, I, I put it into how I notice women pick men. And this, I noticed, like I told you guys earlier, for me, fit X feelers, girls who are the most into a type, sex appeal wise and confidence, I will, it's almost 10 out of 10. I guarantee you, those two archetypes. The other ones, I get them sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You know, you might sleep with them once or twice, but I'm I'm not really trying to be with no girl who likes an opportunist. I don't really want to be with a girl who's, you know, so into guys with a lot of social proof, right? I'm not, I don't really want to be with a guy, girl who is just so into a man who, with the gift of gap, because that's not who I am. So my strengths are sex appeal and confidence. If women women that are into those two, I'm getting it every time. So guys, these are the five mating strategies. This is how women pick men that they're gonna sleep with. Which categories do you come, do you fall under? I want you guys to leave a comment on this video. Which category uh, do you have the most strength in? Right? Are you the guy that women see that they can get opportunity with? Sex appeal, confidence, social proof? you know, charisma, which one are you? Leave a comment down below, man. And that's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Love you, boys.